Listen, in my opinion, you might be wasting your resources trying to upgrade your gear. The reason why I'm saying that is because, well, at some point, it really doesn't matter what type of gear you're using, and you should mostly focus on those set bonuses. And more importantly, the game is going to reward you either way if you just keep playing, especially on the midnight difficulty. And so, yeah, I don't think, uh oh, I'm going to fall. Okay, no. <laughs> so I really don't think it's actually worth it to increase your your gear stats. It doesn't really matter. So let's take a look, let's take a look at my build right now. I'm using a level one, uh, 101 paired sword. And what you really want to aim for in this game are the set bonuses. You know, right now I'm using this, which in my opinion is potentially the best accessory you can get in the game is going to lower the set bonus requirement for every single, well, bonus. So right now, instead of having three um, items equipped at the same time, I only need two to get three bonuses. This is huge. And it's going to be the same for every single um, set bonus I'm going for. And you can tell that I can go for way more. If before I was only going for two or three, now I can go for four or five. So shout out to the person who told me in my build video that I should get this item by just having a veiled vow with Ryoma Sakutoma. <laughs> so thank you. It's going to it's a long way to get the veil vow. You need to complete every single mission attached to him, like the bomb mission, the ally mission. And eventually it's going to pop out. You're going to be able to create a veil vow and then you'll be able to acquire this item. And do not don't ever try to trade it. And I think by default it's locked, so to not unlock it, I think it's going to be very difficult to get another one, so don't lose it. And you can tell that my gear is not all the time optimal. You know, right now I have some level 1, 104, 100, and long 103. Even when it comes to my sub weapons, you can definitely tell I could get better gear. In fact, I have better gear, but the problem is you cannot transfer those set bonuses. So it's kind of pointless to have this if I can still keep using this. But I won't, I'm will not i not going to waste my resources, my upgrade materials, by trying to get it to one to, to, to level um, 100. Again, it's pointless. So, how do you actually get better gear? Well, by just playing the game, to be honest. At some point, if you beat the main story, you're going to unlock the midnight difficulty. And in my opinion, that's where the game actually begins. I mean, not really. But that's where the good stuff is hidden, and I, I feel like it's, it's not the proper way to do it, because the, the main story was already lengthy. It was quite long. It, it wasn't boring, but it was just a bit too long. So, once you unlock the midnight difficulty, you know, you can tell by that icon on the, uh, on the left of my screen, it says midnight, because right now I'm in the midnight difficulty, but what you want to do is go to your long house, and this is where you can freely move between eras. You can go from Yokohama to Edo to Kyoto, and yeah. So you go in there. You're going to go to Testament of the Soul, right here. And whenever you press R3, uh, F3, yeah, you're going to be able to go from your normal difficulty, which in this, which in this case, in my case, is Twilight to midnight you know everything is going to hit harder enemies are going to be um to even you're going to have even special enemies popping up even in random encounters like public encounters and more importantly you can come here for the ally missions you know right here where you can complete you can compete against multiple bosses in a row and this is where in my opinion you should try to um to farm not only resources like uh, crafting craft, crafting materials but also weapons it, it goes from masterwork to legendary to you know but usually you're always going to get high level gear from those missions always and the build i used last time i'm going to link the video in the in this in the description or whatever it's going to be very useful to um to speed run those challenges because the enemies are quite difficult to handle 
especially if you are starting your midnight journey, you're probably going to get bullied on every in, in every single <laughs> on every single level. So we want to avoid that. So I highly recommend watching the build video. That way you can. It, it really isn't about the build, but it's mostly about the martial, um, the martial skill I'm using. But having a good a good build attached is going to help you go a bit farther and survive longer. So you go in there. You try to fight your way through um, all those bosses. Then. You're going to see that bar, it says midnight completion rate at the bottom of the screen. So you're going to you're going to beat once again all those missions you beat in the the first time. Except, except, except now, in my opinion, you should not try to fight everybody on every single level. You should just run past everybody until you make it to the boss, you beat the boss, and then you move on to the next mission. That's usually what I do. I don't want to bother and honestly it's not going to reward you with much loot. So just speed run everything, you know, you then go to the to the bomb mission, you do the same thing. And yeah, that's all you have to do is going to drop, is you're going to get you get so much gear. So much um I'll say yeah, so much gear. And also most more more importantly, you can tell um that I'm max level right now, but also those uh, ally missions are a great place if you want to spam, if you want to farm skill points. You can get, uh, I, th I think the, f the first time on the first, on the first level you can get five or six uh, skill points every single time you beat the challenge. And then the next one is going to give you 10, the next, the, the one after that, 15, 20, up all the way to 24. So if you beat the last, um, the last challenge, which is called, I think it's over halves, I think. Yeah, this one is going to give you almost every single time 24 skill points. So it's very good if you want to just level up because I think in my opinion, those stats are more important overall than your gear stats. That's what I think because I was trying earlier to go in there, you know, without any, any type of gear equipped. I removed everything besides the weapon I was using and I was doing just fine. So at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. What you should try to focus on is actually those um, those stats. The, now here's the problem. Here's the problem I have with this game. Everything is so damn expensive, and well, at some point, well, it feels like you're wasting your resources. Where, where's the blacksmith? I'm going to explain. So you have to make a choice between disassembling your gear or setting the gear. Right now, I have decent money, so I'm going to hold on to it. I don't have to. I don't have to sell anything, so it's better to just try to uh, disassemble everything, right? But if you disassemble everything and then you go in there to upgrade your gear, you again you're going to stumble upon better gear either way. So it really doesn't matter. So whenever you try to disassemble, I would highly recommend stopping at this rarity. I don't know. Uh, what's called the green ones is win for me and the reason is because well those legendary gear are always going to have good stats when it comes to um, the set bonuses or the uh, you know here for example it's saying wait key attack counter spec 4.5 percent that's pretty good but also i don't think you sh you want to target those legendary um stats because they're quite expensive and the bone jewels you use to perform bone transfers they they are very once you run out of those it's really difficult to get more unless you want to go through the game over and over and over again and just play the whole game the second time and it's kind of tedious <laughs> it's kind of tedious so what i usually do if i want to get a stat on the weapon for example this one is i would if I want to replace those two, because I'm not going to use attack plus on assassinations, for example, it's kind of useless. So if I want to replace that one, I'm going to replace it with something which is also um, not colored, like just basic. As for example, attack like this, because it's going to only cost, <laughs> I say only, but also quite costly. You can tell it's, it's going to cost me 10 bone jewels. That's a, that's a lot just for one thing for one piece of gear. This is why you should never try to, I'll say, focus on one gear in particular, ex ex except if you're really going to stick with it. 
is very important because it's going to go to waste either way and you can't take it back. So it's going to cost 10,010 individual jewels. That's a lot. I can't afford that. So I'm going to just say, uh, nah, I'm going to pass. And yeah, so you can tell that th that's the reason why I, 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 I'm still stuck with the level 88 gear because it's, it's going to get the job done for me. So wait, what, what is he saying? You can't trust me. What? Oh, okay. I see. Um, what I do usually is I come here and I'm like looking around like, okay, for example, this, I don't have any gear. I mean, any style for those two slots. What I'm going to do, I'm going there and I'm looking for something which is actually useful. I just go down. This might be good, but I want something else. Maybe I'm always looking for the, for the, so, okay. Let's, let's say, for example, you wanted to transfer one of those stats because here's here's another problem once you do transfer one stat the whole gear is lost <laughs> so if if previously that was your gear now it's going to get lost because you just need one thing from those four slots that's unfortunate so what you should be doing is just i don't know just just never never upgrade your gear it's going to get obsolete like very soon so don't do that and try to focus instead of just um, the regular, those regular stats, like the one which are not colored. This is why you're going to see that my gear has multiple, it has multiple things which are not colored, you know? Like right here, for example, I have um, sub weapon attack damage up by two, up by 5.2%. And this one is probably useless. I'm going to replace it right now, actually. Um, wait, is that a weapon? Okay, now I'm going to replace it by, um, I already have this one, right? Yeah, okay. So I want to replace it by something useful. But here it's very difficult to tell when something is useful because, well, uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's, very, it's very difficult. I'm not using any shurikens right now, but it would have been useful if I was. But I guess what I could do is just go for, eh. See, you can tell it's, it's, it's like you have multiple things which are not going to be useful in the long run. And I feel like at some point it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. So it's like, I was like, I, I think that's why I never changed it. I was like, I don't want to replace some things which, which going to cost me 10 bomb jewels if I, if I don't think it's going to be useful in the long run. So I just gave up and yeah. So basically... Don't try to, to upgrade your gear. Again, it's it's, uh, it's kind of silly. It's going to cost me, <laughs> look at how much it's going to cost me. All my money to get six levels. Six levels, that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. And it's even worse for the weapons. It's even worse for the weapons. So honestly, don't try to upgrade your gear. Be very careful when trying to transfer your bonds and just play the game on the minimum difficulty. Just go in the in the um, testament of the soul, and if you're losing, if you wait, if you low on resources, try to instead of just um, just use the cast concierge thingy, and also use your garden. Send your dog often to 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 collect items on his way back. You know that's what you need to be doing, and everything else is just it really doesn't matter, honestly. It does not matter. Anyway, I'm Jiso. I'll see you soon. And peace.